and uh, my zacket, my zacket. <laughs> Spindle. I'm a riding lawnmower, so we'll sweep in here and see if we can't order one or pick one up. So spindle assembly acquired. So spindle assembly acquired, new one, old one. Can you can you spot the issues? Okay, so that's got to go in. I still got to get a bolt from outside. It's making a whole lot of noise yesterday when I was mowing. I'm like, what could that sound possibly be? Well, I go to touch it to see, because this is the, uh, apologize. This chubby dude is rattling. I'm like, is it just that? That's not all the new noise, and why is that? So, I'm like, maybe I can take this, but as soon as I touch it, this part's metal, or as soon as I touch this, but it's just hotter than, hotter than Dickens. I'm like, well, there's something wrong. So I shut the blades off, brought it back to the house, took the deck off, these two spin freely, it's three blade deck. That one's not spinning at all. Or, you know, under severe stress, right? So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the deck back over. I'm gonna take off that hose thing. I'm gonna clean the deck off. Then I'm gonna throw the spindle assembly in there and put the new blades on that I got for it as well because the blades were, well, you tell me. With the blade shot, what do you think? With a, uh, were they shot yet? So, seventy-one dollars later. Well, one hundred and fifty dollars late. Wait, this was seventy by itself. So yeah, like yeah, like one hundred sixty bucks later with everything. But all right, let's do that. You know, the wife works weekends, so I put all the tools away because I thought today was Saturday because she worked yesterday. But I forgot she picked up a day, so she was Thursday. Today's Friday, so I was able to pick up the spindle assembly. So can't. I love doing stuff twice. And speaking of do a thing twice, I already had the deck off because I had to replace one of the rear tires. <laughs> so I had literally just put the deck on and started mowing and I was like, this is really getting really loud. It was loud when I started and I was like, well, it's louder. It seems louder than I remember. Let me go ahead and get my ear, my ear protection. And because uh, you know I hadn't mowed since last season, right? And uh, so yeah, and I was like mowing, it's getting louder and louder. I'm like, okay, yeah, there's something wrong with this situation. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to get a little bit of this type of crap off. While I have it upside down and... But yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna see all that. That's no fun. I wonder if it's pre-greased. I should have asked. All good now but that's never fun and I actually found out one other spindle is bad so I'll have to do all that again soon yay oh what adventures I've had right when I got to the end of my block leaving the house I come up on my brother-in-law who's a douchebag and is driving his like 1996 uh, like refurbished Ford F-250 diesel that he thinks he's such a badass in and when I went to pass him he wanted a race I'm not supposed to go past half throttle but you know I had to dust his ass real quick and once I got up to 85 he didn't want no more of it. Of course, he probably thought I had more to go. <laughs> and I was about maxed out. But the reason I came here was to get some sealant, some waterproofing sealant for all my tent seams. 
that I have up because it's supposed to rain in the morning. And I want to get it sealed up before it does. But I didn't realize the cans were so damn big. So I have I have two of them stuffed into my tucked in shirt. Sorry, I have two of them stuffed into my tucked in shirt. And uh, my jacket, my jacket, my jacket zipped up over them. And I got a loaf of bread and my camelback, or a loaf of hamburger, hot dog buns rather. So I can have some hot dogs or andouille over the fire after I seal that stuff. I may or may not spend the night out there tonight. I have everything set up because we camped out last week. I mean, not last week, earlier this week. One night. And we both slept like crap. And so we came in and we literally slept the entire day. <laughs> but you know what it is? I've been camping my whole life. I've only been camping on an air mattress one time besides this week. This was the second time. And as much as I can't sleep on the ground anymore because it destroys my back, that's how I've camped my whole life. Well, for a short period of time when I was a kid, we slept on cots. And by the time I was in middle school, I was sleeping on the ground. And that's how I slept my whole life until last year. I have no pads on. I got like khaki slacks and my work boots and a t-shirt and a windbreaker and my gloves. I got my helmet, you know, obviously, and my goggles. I have no idea if I should spray this on the inside or the outside. Hey Google, should I use silicone water guard on the inside or outside of my tent? These pictures should match. Bitch, I didn't ask for a picture. I asked a very simple question. Here is information from Wilderness Redefined. to the outside of tent walls. So that's repellent. This isn't repellent. Silicone water guard on the inside or outside of my tent. Showing pictures that match. You're a dirty whore. A dirty, dirty whore. I bought a shelf for my storage unit. I bought another shelf. I'm not putting that one together today. That one's probably going to be two smaller shelves. You can split them into one big one as tall as this one or two smaller ones. Probably going to do two smaller ones along this wall. Um, I gotta get some insurance, some off-site insurance coverage for all this stuff. Oh, I've been productive, but sometimes it's hard to get off your ass and do so. But I did, so, but I didn't show you. It's supposed to be 1,500 pound weight capacity per shelf, so I'm sure I'm well below that, so it should be no issue. I actually wish it was one tier taller. I couldn't find anything taller. That's probably best since I can't really anchor it in here. But, uh. Yeah, a lot of wasted space way up there. Kind of sucks that they don't come with shelving. You know what I mean, Vern? But it is what it is. All right. Mm -hmm.